So STEM is important uh, on a number of levels. One, when you look at uh, occupational outcomes and, and expectancies over the next decade, uh, we're seeing huge growth expected in the STEM fields. Um, where we're trying to make up the difference is in STEM education. The state of Kentucky is still producing significantly less certified STEM teachers. And as a result, we have a critical shortage of STEM teachers in the high schools. Plenty of students who are coming through uh, university and entering into STEM fields as professions, but we have fewer that are coming through and then going into the teaching profession focusing on STEM. So that's really what we're uh, aiming for, is to get students to not only consider STEM fields as an occupation, but also STEM teaching as an occupation. If we don't have strong teachers out there inspiring each and every learner, then we're, we're gonna see that increase in the STEM jobs start to taper off as a result. So, um, or even worse, have people coming out in these fields that are not ready to go and ready to take up um, the charge that's put in front of them. We need a broader uh, education of STEM subjects. So we can see that how, how much our world is changing, especially when it comes to environmental concerns and technological concerns. Uh, the rapid growth of science fields has to correlate to a growth in science education. And that's really what we're looking for here. We have been focused on about four different goals for the grant. Um, and they all have to do with increasing the pipeline, minimizing barriers, and making kind of a smooth transition for teachers to come out through this pipeline and be very qualified and highly effective from day one. In the last 10 years, there has been a significant decline in the number of certified STEM teachers in Kentucky. In chemistry, for example, only 15% of the teachers are certified to teach that field. In physics, is only 4%. That's a 350% decline in the last 10 years. So if we don't do something right now, we'll be in trouble. So that's why this project is significant. We are looking for partnership and pathways where we can reverse this trend and increase the number of certified teachers in the STEM fields. So as part of the goals for this grant, um, we've enlisted several partners. Specific to that pipeline coming into Bellarmine University is through the, um, our community college system. We have a 16 campus community college system here in Kentucky, so very robust, touching all points of the state. Um, and we've been developing two by two plans with them. So students would do their first two years there at the community college, earn an associate's degree, and then come to us for, for the final two years or even that, that optional early entry pathway an additional fifth year to end up with that degree in the STEM discipline and a teaching certification as well. So many issues and, and problems that our, our planet faces, our country faces, that really need to be uh, solved and tackled using uh, science, using mathematics. Uh, we know that these are, are disciplines that students sometimes have difficulty with. Uh, we certainly need more students going into this area. We need to support them when they get into it so they succeed. Uh, and we need to try to encourage them to be teachers in their own right to other students in that area. So for all of these reasons, we were very happy to support uh, Bellarmine's initiatives in this area. The Kentucky Science Center internships were really interesting because you're working with current Bellarmine students uh, who, like I said, most of them have never had experience uh, with younger learners and I was pleasantly surprised by how quickly they jumped into that role of educator and teacher and facilitator. So I was curious to see if teaching would be a path I actually um, might consider in the future and after doing this I can definitely say so. The internships were, were good because our students didn't just learn about teaching, they went and got to practice it themselves. I think it's important for STEM majors to teach young people to 
ignite a flame for learning at an early age to pass on that spark. Um, and also to confirm the idea that they too have the passion for science. Um, it's important to pass that passion along. We really need more people who are well trained to go into the schools and help students prepare to be the students that we want when they come to us in college, who not only have the academic preparation to, to succeed, but also really have the grit, the motivation, and an understanding of what kinds of expectations are needed for students to succeed in any kind of college. We need people to design and innovate and be thinking about how to, to best, most efficiently and most effectively solve the problems of today. And so when we think about STEM workers, we're thinking about people who can be really um, innovative in their thinking, um, think about design, think about efficiency, think about problem solving in a very creative way. If these kids want to go into STEM in the future, it's important that they have these good experiences with science and these memories that they can look back on and think, I want to do that. Students learn from people they make a connection with. So if they don't have a connection with their teacher, they're really not going to learn a whole lot. They may memorize facts and they may be able to regurgitate those facts on a test, but they're not really learning, you know? They're not internalizing that information. So when you see those connections being made between educator and student, you know that there's intentional learning going on there. You leave a lasting impression on the kids. I know myself, when I was in seventh grade, I had a science fair project that made me decide ultimately that I wanted to be a physicist. One of the ways that I think this NOICE grant really works to the strength of, of educators is that it gives students an opportunity to try it out. You know, to try out the classroom, to try out educating younger learners. It gives them a sense of, uh, of reality rather than just uh, sort of like the theoretical knowledge. And, and I think that that's more transformational. You know, just having, just having Bellarmine students sit in a classroom and learn about education is not going to be as impactful as having them actually go out and interact with young learners.